what's up my people is your boy coach patrico and guys today i want to tell you the reasons why most of africans complain that whenever you go for interview you are never picked you are never called they never email you back again it's just because of simple representation and manners most of the people most of we africans who always go to these interviews we don't know manners we don't know how to represent ourselves you are a brand on your own you are a brand as you are you sell you sell what you are and someone will buy what is seen from you you go so you cannot go to an interview the first thing you start doing you start negotiating the salary you haven't gotten the job yet you haven't you haven't been told you are hired you have started already negotiating the salary that's no i know this kind of job the salary is three thousand before we continue guys please 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 subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel this is my new channel. My other channel was hacked and I lost it with uh, almost 64,000 subscribers. So this is a new channel. Let's do this, guys. Please subscribe. Most of you are watching my videos. You don't subscribe to know, to have notification for more content. Subscribe and hit the notification button so that every time I drop a new video, you're the first person to, to know about it. And why are you giving me 2,000? This kind of job, the salary is 2,000. Why? They, they they recruit or the boss haven't even said that he's recruiting you you have already started texting the, the salary you are expecting you know some bosses they are okay with your salary expectation they will ask you how is salary expectation but if others don't ask you and they offer you something wait until you have been giving given a offer letter to sign that's when you can negotiate the salary on the table and it depends some people are not in a position to negotiate the salary because you must have a base to prove that, okay, I'm negotiating a salary in which base I'm more experienced, I'm more educated, I have papers for this job. You know, you cannot just start negotiating the salary because you are hearing your friends are saying that they are being paid 5,000. Now you also, you want 5,000. You must have a concrete reason for you to negotiate salary. Another thing, I've seen even on my DM, some people you tell them, send me your CV. Someone take a picture with a phone, a picture of the CV and send you. Really, I never look at those kind of CVs. Send a scan, a scan CV. Nowadays, it's very easy even to get a PDF CV. Someone is sending you a picture of a CV. These are the things which make even recruiters don't get back to you. Then you are there seated. Every day you are checking your emails. You send like 500 emails. You know, with the same CV, so you are always sitting there to wait for the for the feedback. No one will ever re reply such and such an email. Trust me, no one will ever reply such. So you must know how to conduct yourself. Others they will come to an interview while they are running. We know here in UAE, in Gulf is so hot. You have come rushing. You are sweaty. You are somehow smelly. If you know yourself that you are this kind of a person who is so sweaty. Always, and you, are, you, know, you know that what, wherever you are going, these people, the first impression is very important. The first day impression, I'm going to an interview. The first time these people are seeing me is what they will take, you know. They see me to be a shabby person. You have come with an iron cloth. I don't know what. I have didn't wash my, my eyes properly. Your makeup was not on point. This is how they will judge you. This is a reckless person. Even if we give him a job, this person will not deliver. This is how they will judge you even if... Even though that was just a one-time thing, but they will never think of that it's a one-time thing. They will just conclude that this is a very reckless person. We cannot trust him with our job. So I heard someone was saying that, you know, most of us who are here, we are looking for jobs. We cannot afford perfume. We cannot, my dear, here we have perfumes even up to five dirham. Go to, go to day to day. Go to shops, one to ten. The cheapest one you'll have, just spray them on, on, on your way when you are entering because they, their scent doesn't stay for long. On your way when you're entering the building, go always go to interview as early as you can, at least 30 minutes to one hour before the interview. Get familiarized with the place. No way is the bathroom, no way is this and this and this. So interviewer sometimes they, they start asking you questions like, what do you know about us? What do you, you know, you can just give them a hint of some things that you are you really need that job and you are really keen on getting it. Don't go to an interview late, first of all. You are sweaty. You are stinking, let's say, sweat, a lot of sweat, because here we sweat a lot. Then you just go straight to the interview room. These people, trust me, they'll just tell you, we'll call you. They'll never call you. They'll never call. Never call. Another thing. Some people are coming for a security interview. Someone is sending you, he's coming with a waiter CV. Someone is coming with a, on a waiter, waiter, 
uh, I was skipping interview, someone is coming with a security CV. So always be sure of whatever you are going to. We, we know that outside here, usually we make a lot of CVs so that if it's waiter, you go for with waiter CV. If it's security, you go for with waiter. That's how we hustle outside here. But make sure you carry the correct CV. Don't reach there. You haven't checked your documents properly. You just hand them over. You are seated there. You are smiling. Then your interviewers are looking themselves like they are wondering who, who is this and what is this. You know, they are seeing two different people. This is a security CV and the person standing in front of us needs a housekeeping job or a waiter. You know. So these are the things also. And another thing, guys, ladies and gentlemen, always, always know what is written on your CV. Some people lie too much until they forget even what they lied about on the CV. You lie too much, which at some point yeah, it helps. Some jobs outside here, you have to lie. You have done this, you have done this because they will not start calling for referrals or, or the former company to ask them. No. But always know what is written on your CV. What is it written? You lie too much until you forget even what is your what was your second job, what is your third job. You must know the roles you have written there, what was your roles, what was your duties. So don't give out the CV to a recruiter. You're then standing there like a statue. They ask you, so you are you are sales associate, yes. So what are responsibility? Mm, 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 nah -uh. You have lost the job. They just tell you thank you, we'll call you. They'll never call. Another thing. Don't go to an interview with a crop top, with a mini, some other people go to an interview with a short, a lady, a lady is going home with a booty, a guy is going to an interview with a, with a sad trouser, with a cape, others don't mind even a cape, but others do, so just go represent yourself, just go there, groom yourself well, you are there for a job, you are not there for show off, that's the, differentiate those two things, you are there for a job, not for show off. When other people are coming there looking so smart, other nationalities, and you are competing for the same job. Have you ever seen an Indian going to an interview with a booty shot or, 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 or a sad trouser? So you should learn also from other nationalities. As much as there are some things you cannot learn from them, but you should learn also some things. You know, how you just check a lot of videos, how people conduct themselves when they're going for interview. Before going for interview, do your revision. Know, know what are these people going to ask me. Do your, do your research. Most of you are going for interview. You have no idea. You know it's a waitress job. You have never done a waitress job. You don't even do the, Google, the diggings. On, on, it's free. You have, you have, you have Wi-Fi now, nowadays everywhere. Your Wi-Fi is only for TikTok. No? And YouTube. Do your diggings. What is it on... on uh, what will I be asked? Like, you can just Google what are the, the questions asked on a waiter interview. Just go through them, random ones. You Always you'll find something, one or two. And the confidence is everything. Confidence is everything. Okay? And always never go to an interview with the expired documents. Some people go to the interviews or they send you a CV. You ask them, do you have a passport? I don't have. I left it to my former boss. Some people go through an interview. This interview has been stated very well. You have to come with this and this document. You don't bring either of them, neither visa copy nor passport copy. So what are you what are you representing? You they have okay, they have chosen you, you have represented yourself so well, but now you don't have the documents again. So guys, these complaints about you are not being chosen whenever you go for this interview and what most of them are self-inflicted. If you see you're not being chosen, more the problem sometimes starts with you. Look at yourself first, groom yourself, prepare yourself well before going for this interview, before sending someone your CV, go through it. Just know what is written on your CV. Just don't, don't wake up just one time and give someone your CV, yet you don't know what's fully written on your CV. Okay? So thank you so much, guys. I'm my boy, Coach Patrick. Keep subscribing, guys. You are almost there. We are almost there. We are so far so good. In just a matter of eight days, we are at 300 plus subscribers. So far so good. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep commenting. Write for me down there. Give me your thoughts. What you want us to talk about next time. Okay, until next time guys, I love you all. Take care. Cheers.